Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA absolutely surprised us yesterday with an SBC that impacted the market so much, but it came out of nowhere because the SBC looks so small and looks like it would do nothing, but the pack has crazy odds for some specific team of the seasons, and those prices are dropping like mad on this market. I want to take a look at that, and of course, could we invest in those prices that are down bad because of all the supply that we had yesterday? We'll talk about that and how the market could react today. Sunday's Icon Pack, Hero pack days there is potential today for one of those sorts of packs to be released in this game as an sbc and of course team of the season content continuing to roll out so we'll talk about all that in today's video and more if you're excited for it if it helps you out drop a thumbs up that supports the channel a ton and of course subscribe if you are new to never miss the daily videos as they go live but let's look at yesterday's content and start things off first of all we had a player sbc we'd known that this flashback de la Flay was coming and we actually got it four star four star i think we would have really liked a five star skill or five star weekly version of this card for the extra juice but at the price we really can't complain like 50,000 coins for this card kind of reminds me of the pedro that we had during foot birthday if you have pedro in my opinion there's no real reason to do this i think pedro is a probably clear since he's five star five star over this card but not terrible value there even for a 90 rated card like if you have some extra fodder in your club in the next couple of days as we have player picks you get two 86s in here you get a random team of the week i mean it is an 85 rated squad, but you put 286s or higher in there, or if you have a duplicate TOTS card, it's going to be really easy to get this SBC done just for some, I guess, interesting card to try out or 90 rated fodder. So don't throw that one away just because you're like, nah, it's not worth it. It might actually be worth it if you have some duplicates with the 81 plus player picks that we are going to get most likely tomorrow on Monday. We also had some new store packs added yesterday, including the 400k pivot pack, which a lot of people are asking, Nate, are team of the season cards in these? I mean, they are like team of the season cards are in these packs. It's just the odds are not showing. So uh, obviously with 70 gold rare players with five guaranteed to be 86 or above, the team of the seasons are definitely packable from these packs. It's just people think they're not because of the uh, you know odds that are in here, but they definitely are packable from those. They keep releasing these second half packs, and these are some crazy packs. 25% chance of a TOTS player um, in a 200k pack that is tradable, 60 items. I think for 3,000 FIFA points, I'm sure a lot of people in this game are opening that pack. All these second half, you know, whatever rare players packs that have been released as lightning rounds or as like eight per day like this one, there's a lot of FIFA point sales right now for sure as EA is making that bank by putting a lot of really good packs out during team of the season. Now, the SBC that is really at hand though is one that I've already completed, so it's easier to look at it in here. It's the TOTS Challenge 1. This is the small little, you know, looks innocent, right? This SBC looks really innocent when you look at it right away, but then you look at the pack that it gives out. 5,000 coins, really easy to do. It gives out a 5 Netherlands gold rare players pack. I don't even remember this being added to the code, but five Netherlands gold rare players right now, you think about, okay, Dutch rare gold players that are in this game. Yeah, you've got a lot of low rated cards, like 80, 81s, maybe some 79, stuff like that. But at the same time, you got some TOTS cards and you have some good high rated fodder like Memphis Depay and uh, Virgil van Dijk. In fact, I believe there are only 28 Dutch gold rare cards that are in packs right now and out of those 28 you've got a team of the week Malin. you've got a all the tots cards that are um of course dutch and you've got some good fodder cards with delict depai van dyke and de young and if you look at prices on the market i'm sure you guys have seen the prices of these cards have absolutely gotten destroyed any dutch card on this game yesterday got destroyed in price javi simons is well how much right now 690,000 coins after he was 1.3 mil. I bought a Javi Simons last night. I bought it too early. I bought it for over a million coins. I sold it right here for 1.14. I made like 60K and he still went to 1.3 mil. But when this pack dropped, he went from 1.3 million coins all the way to 690,000 coins. Literally prices on all of the Dutch TOTS cards yesterday halved. They were down 40 to 50% in price. Gear Trudeau, one of the most meta center backs for a budget on this game from 100K down to 50. Crazy drop there. Bergwijn was like 140,000 coins, I think. 
almost 140k, right? 160k he went to yesterday. He went down to 60,000 coins, 58k there. Crazy price drops because of what it is here, the supply. It's pure supply that this pack really injected to the market. It's not like it was panic selling. It was people were opening that five Dutch rare gold players pack and they were getting Tots cards. They were getting uh, Virgil van Dijk as a gold, right? If you look at Virgil van Dijk, he's one of the cheapest 90 rated cards right now in this game because he got packed so much yesterday. Now, if you're like me, you're like, man, where was my pack? Look, all I got was like hot to bowers, the best card from that five rare gold players pack. But it is obvious that since there were so few Dutch rare golds, they got supplied so much. Now, the question is, why did EA do this? Well, I think, first of all, they probably wanted to supply some Dutch cards onto people's clubs because we had that Eredivisie Tots Cup that is, of course, you have to play with Eredivisie players. So they knew that people would be going out and wanting to try the Eredivisie Tots cards for that. And, of course, when EA release a pack like this, they definitely know it's going to have big market impact. And, um, you know, that does make people lose coins so i don't try to like point the finger at ea and say hey they legit did this so that people would lose coins i mean you saw all the price drop offs on these team of the seasons if you were trying a tots card for your team and you 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 know you go check content with the card in your team and you bought it before you're like wow i literally am losing you know half of the prices card of what i bought it for uh two hours later like you know do ea really calculate in those things We'll never know, but I think that's part of the reason that they did it personally because they knew the prices would drop off a lot, and if people lose coins, they make more money because people go and buy FIFA points, but that's getting into the hairy stuff. Um, and then the real other question here is, should we invest in some of these cards? Because you've got more Air Divisi SBC players that are leaked to come. You think about the goalkeeper, uh, Bijlo, I think his name is, is expected to drop. I'm going to pick up this gear, Truda. Just kidding, I'm not. Uh, that's a goalkeeper from the Air Divisi that people are expecting as an SBC or an objective. And I think a lot of people are investing in some of these cards because they feel like their prices have gotten too cheap for where they realistically should be. And to a point, I agree. 50K for one of the only 90 pace center backs in this game, in this gear truda is pretty crazy javi simons being as cheap as he is is pretty crazy right okay this is probably the most popular card that people are looking to invest in right now and with good reason a premier league center back with manchester city links is 200 000 coins he was like 180 at his cheapest yesterday he's been around 190k since the pack dropped but uh, uh 200 000 coins for this card is really crazy when you think about we've got Premier League Tots upcoming and a lot of those Premier League center backs that are going to be in this next uh, iteration of Tots are probably going to be a lot more expensive than this. This is a really good card in game with the links, the stats and everything. I, it, this looks like a great investment. Now, am I going to be investing in this stuff? I may buy a couple, but since this price is already up a little bit, I'm going to be careful. On the grand scheme of things, this price for Ake, 190, that looks really cheap, right? That's honestly too cheap, but you have to realize that the amount of supply that was just dropped on this game for these cards, somebody actually tweeted me yesterday. Now, this is glitched right now, but somebody tweeted me a picture of themselves searching all of the team of the season Akes that were on the market and they had to scroll through on this market search it was like 330 pages to see all of the supply for Ake that is a crazy amounts of supply so that is the bad thing about this card as an investment and all the Dutch Tots cards that were dropped in the game yesterday in price the bad thing is there is so much supply but the good thing is these are really in demand cards as the first team of the season Ake next week is going to be in demand as well and um, you know they're really really cheap prices so I think there is investment potential here but I think what you really need to do is look for a drop today on Sunday because these guys got so supplied and people are still doing this uh, air divisie or the Dutch SBC pack I think what I would do today is try to get on some bids try to get on some snipes if we have really good content today some of these guys could drop a little bit more I would say that would be a good time to look into these guys and I think you'd have to end up holding them for probably a week or so because at the same time, a lot of people are investing in the same stuff. Ake is probably going to be the most popularly invested in card during these next couple days in this game because people will see the potential in his card to rise during Prem Tots. So just be careful with that. There is potential there, but there's also going to be a lot of investors and there's just a ton of supply on the market for those cards. So be careful. But I think guys like Ake, Bergwijn, Geertruda, and Javi Simons could go up. So just be careful with that. Invest at your own risk. But I think there is potential there because these guys do seem really cheap for me, even though they're in packs throughout the whole rest of this next week. Now, for the rest of the market, right? A lot of other TOTS cards 
are doing pretty well. Now, they are lower in price, right? We expect that, right? Bernardo Silva was like 1.3 mil. He is now back down to 1.07. He's actually, he was just, I believe, around 1.05. He's actually going up a little bit. Alexis Sanchez was another one I had my eye on. He was about 1.17. Looks like he's starting to go back up a little bit. These guys get really rare at night. Then they start to rebound back up in price. But team of the season cards had some really good fluctuations yesterday. I bought a Kingsley Coman at, uh, I don't even remember what I bought this for. Uh, we made a good flip out of him. We made a good flip on the Tadiches, right? We talked about that in last night's video. I bought all these at 105k. He was up into the 130s. The Javi Simons is on there. And I've been selling a lot of the other cards from my transfer list uh, just to take the profits, right? I've been taking a lot of coins. You can see I have a lot of coins right now. I've got 8.1 mil. We're almost fully liquid apart from having a few cards on the transfer list. I still believe that these cards uh, I would be careful with. I, I do not think there's going to be a ton of of prices like going up today. I don't think we're gonna, ha gonna have as crazy of a rise on these TOTS cards as we did yesterday. Kingsley Coman is, wow, 508. I bought, I bought one at 515 and I thought that was really cheap. But last night, Coman was 580. He went all the way to 689. This is the fluctuation that I traded with and now he's back down to 500K. Now, could this go back up to like 550 today? You know, I think it absolutely could, which is why I'm interested here. But at the same time, I'm being very careful because it normally doesn't happen two days in a row where you have that same kind of fluctuation. Uh, wow, 507, that's really crazy. He was legit just 550K. So I like the rarity there. I like the rarity on some of these more expensive cards, but I'm gonna just do quick flips. I do not think buying these and holding them for uh, right now, holding them for longer than like a day or a couple of hours, honestly, is really a good move. I would probably stay pretty liquid and I would not look to hold on to them too long. Same thing with the uh, cards from the Eredivisie Tots as well. Just be careful with them because I do believe they will drop in price further today uh, as we get more supply, as people finish their weekend leagues, get more supply on the market, all that good stuff. Sell teams, sell cards that people are trying. Uh, otherwise than that, the market is doing really, really well. Out of packs cards continue to rise. I think of like David Alaba, who was 580,000 coins. He is now, what is his price? 700K, 710. He is going up in price. A lot of these other out of pack special cards just continue to rise. Sell when you're happy with the profit, guys. We said it yesterday. We'll say it again today. Sell when you are happy with the profit on the card that you bought. I was happy with some of those profits. I sold some cards. We made a good amount of coins. Could have made a lot more if we would have bought later, but it is what it is. Now, let's talk about the market today on Sunday, too. Let's shift our focus because. There's a lot of potential for today on Sunday as well in terms of the SBCs that we could be getting. First of all, if it's not happening on a Saturday, it's happening on a Sunday, the icon or the hero upgrade slash player pick pack, right? This 90 plus goes away and it's going away today at content time. What's going to replace it? There's going to be something that replaces this today, whether it's this exact same SBC, a new icon upgrade or a hero upgrade of some sorts, I do believe there will be a new upgrade SBC today. So we'll just have to wait and see what that is. I don't think there's any new pack code that is added um, as of right now. So watch out for maybe some leaks today on that. I'm very curious to see what happens there. So you might think about Nate, could I invest in fodder? And honestly, guys, I like the way fodder is right now, especially on the low tier. 84s, I know it's like, why would I buy 84s for an icon pack or something like that? Trust me, guys, right? What we are moving into, what we talked about before team of the season, we are moving into a time where look at the high rated fodder prices 88s or 22K, 89s or 30,000 coins, 91s or 51K. We expected to see this drop off on the high rated fodder. I didn't really expect to see it right away, but here we are. It's definitely down because the Todd's cards just push the whole fodder market lower themselves anyway. And there's Pretty easily to pretty easy to pack to get them in your club, but I like the 84s, 85s. I wish they were a little bit cheaper. Um, I wish these guys would go down some. I don't like the potential rise there. I like 86s though, 84s and 86s because if we do get a hero pack today, if we do get an icon pack again, if you pack a tots card. You're packing somebody who is about 88 to 91 rated, um, and you're probably going to be able to put that into an SBC, and then that's going to make the rating a lot lower for you, and it's going to be a lot easier to craft. So that's one thing we very commonly see during team of the season is you see the low rated fodder do the best because that's what people are buying to finish out a squad that they can complete easier because they've got the high rated tots card already uh, from whatever pack they have opened or however they've packed that card. So that's the one thing I would say about the fodder market right now. I like 84s, I like 86s, and maybe, 
maybe 88s. Like, man, those are really, really cheap on some of the 88s. So there still could be some fluctuations in and through here. Another thing to think about in this upcoming week is we'll probably get guaranteed Air Divisi and guaranteed Community Tots upgrade packs. That's a staple of team of the season. I even think EA might have mentioned in one of their in-game messages that that was going to be something that was happening soon. So watch out again. I'd say maybe even some of your 83s at 850. An Air Divisi guaranteed Tots pack is probably not going to be that expensive given that most of the cards in here now are below 100,000 coins besides Tottich and Javi Simons. I think that would be a really cheap SBC. People would, of course, do it. A guaranteed Tots pack? Absolutely, right? So I would stock up on 83s and 84s for that reason alone. Um, and then look for today's content and maybe some content upcoming to uh, to really make those prices go up some. Not like crazy, crazy rises on fodder like we saw last week with Tots warm up, but I think we could see some decent rises that could make uh, some investments pretty profitable. So that's where I would be right now with fodder investing if I were you guys. Um, and then if we do have a really good icon pack or if we have a really, really good um, hero player pick today, I do believe there could be some more panic on the actual like meta market, right? We're talking about these TOTS cards, right? There could be some more panic on these cards here uh, if there is a really good pack today. Think about the icon pack, right? It has multiple segments inside of it. And then those segments give out tradable packs that could supply more TOTS cards onto the market and make these prices go a little bit lower themselves. So that's why I'm just being careful. That's why I'm pretty liquid at the moment. I'm going to wait to see what happens today. And uh, it's just going to be a really good time this week to be looking at top tier meta cards uh, from the big leagues, uh, specifically the big league, Premier League, right? That's something we're going to have to watch out for this week as well. Premier League special cards as we head into this next week of Premier League team of the season. Uh, but today could be a day to watch the market if there is a really good pack SBC dropped. Also today, we've got some other leaks though, right? Like we haven't talked about yet seeing um, the Alan St. Maximin potential card that could be a Tots Moments SBC. You know, there's still a bit of unknown. Is that going to be an SBC? Is that going to be uh, a card that is released in packs. I think there's some potential that maybe EA would do a mini release today. Guys that have not been dropped in this game yet. Luke DeYoung, uh, we haven't seen. We have not seen the Alan St. Maxman, as I mentioned. And uh, we also have not seen Matoma. So Matoma, ASM, and Bijlo thrown in there as well with Luke DeYoung. Those are all cards that we are like kind of wondering, okay, EA, where are these guys at? When are we going to see them? They're leaked as moments cards. So not actual team of the seasons, but moments. And uh, yeah, I'm so curious to see if we got a mini release today or if those are going to be SBCs. I don't think they'd be a mini release because if you think about it, we're supposed to have everything available in packs and weekend league rewards. So if they were not available uh, in weekend league rewards, then I don't know how they'd be able to be released in packs right now. So that's kind of a curious thought to have. But uh, we'll probably see what happens today with that. I would expect SBCs for those, but who knows? So watch out for that. And then I think today we're getting a t another uh, SBC for the season swaps objective. Uh, April 30th, tot season swaps. Yeah, SBC number two. So I don't know what they're going to drop today, man. Maybe they drop like uh, <laughs> maybe an English pack and like Declan Rice, Tavernier, uh, like drop crazy amounts in value. I don't know. It's just kind of a guess. I doubt that would happen, but I don't know what they're going to do for the, uh, I guess, reward from this SBC today. So watch out very closely on the reward for that SBC today as well. But honestly, guys, it was an absolute wild roller coaster day yesterday with these prices on the market with these Dutch cards. I mean, Virgil van Dijk was the cheapest. Uh, I think, what is this? Yeah, 90 rated. He was the cheapest 90 rated card on this game. I think he still is right down there at like 38,000 coins as I very closely watched these Tots cards for a flip here. Um, he was down really, really cheap. Everything everything man was so so low if it was dutch it was getting packed and supplied it was absolutely wild so that was a pretty crazy happening yesterday i haven't seen anything happen like that on this game in a really really long time and again i'll reiterate you just have to be careful investing in that i know that ake seems crazy crazy cheap and to be honest i might pick up an ake or two just to see if i can you know hold on to it for a couple of days you know, and make a profit later on next week. But I'm a little bit worried about how much investing there's going to be here just because it seems like a no-brainer. And I, it looked like yesterday a ton of people were investing at the time because it was almost impossible to get a snipe on this guy yesterday at like 185K, which was around his lowest point. So if you bought there and you're holding GGs, oh my gosh, 150. There's no way I was going to win that. But 
Um, yeah, if I see anything under 190, I might have to pick it up just to hold on to one or two of them and see what's going to happen because there's going to be a lot of hype for this card and the fact that he's this cheap. I mean, it does seem very, very cheap. But again, you've got so much supply. So that's going to be a very interesting thing to watch today. Uh, also, the weekend league, like just the way the rewards are kind of paying out, it's going to be very interesting to see how the market does tomorrow on Monday. Usually, we have a Monday market rise because of that. That's one thing I'll be very curious to see going forward into tomorrow, how things are going to go with that different weekend league schedule and the market. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on a comment below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you are new, I'll see you guys in a stream today. It's been Nathan for the Counter. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.